All right, so let's start this broadcast with some big updates that have come in, where China has expanded its diplomatic footprint in West Asia, most notably helping to broker a deal between Saudi Arabia and Iran to restore diplomatic relations, and that happened last March. Now, it has not sought to assume a leading role in the ongoing war in the Gaza Strip by Israel, but that might change. The Chinese diplomat Wang Kijian met with the Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh over the weekend in Qatar. And this, of course, has marked the first meeting between a Chinese and a Hamas official publicly that's been acknowledged by Beijing since the 7th of October. The reports within the Israeli media have cited Hamas that report that Haniyeh told the Chinese on that the war needs to end pretty quickly. He also said that Israel must withdraw its forces from Gaza and an independent, sovereign Palestinian state must be established. And according to the report, Wang said that China was pretty keen on relations with Hamas, which he called to be a part of the Palestinian national fabric. Now, Wang is the first diplomat that China has sent to Palestine since the Israel invasion of Gaza in October. He recently visited the West Bank and met the Palestinian Authority's foreign minister, Riyadh al-Maliki. And there he said that China was in fact renewing its calls for an immediate ceasefire and also for a two-state solution as a political settlement. Wong has also held talks with Haggai Shagrir, the head of the Israeli Foreign Ministry's Asia and Pacific Bureau, and Rachel Fine-Messer, the head of Ministry's Policy Research Center. From the very beginning, China's approach to the Israel-Hamas war was, being, was characterized by caution. The Chinese President Xi Jinping had waited nearly about two weeks before weighing in after Hamas's initial 7th of October attack on Israel. The early government statements had refrained from even naming Hamas, a response that had angered the Israeli officials. In the months since, China has positioned itself as a peacemaker. Remember, in November, Beijing had released a five-point position paper in which it called for an immediate ceasefire protection of civilians, the ramping up of humanitarian assistance in the Gaza Strip that's been put under blockade by the Israelis. The China is focused on harnessing the widening divide between Washington's and the global South stances on the war. And through this, Xi Jinping seeks to boost Beijing's own foreign policy ambitions. The analysts say that China's focus on discrediting and disarming the American political moral standing while also signaling neutrality publicly can actually be called a sort of neutrality that is pretty fresh in its approach. Now, as a result, Beijing has adopted a pretty interesting policy that's involving national diplomatic efforts while also avoiding some high risks. On Tuesday, Netanyahu said during a session of the Knesset's Foreign Affairs and Defense Panel, we all need to stand united against the United States position that we shouldn't go into Rafa. Now remember, Rafah is the southernmost part of the Gaza Strip where more than a million displaced Palestinians have sought refuge from the Israeli onslaught. And now, after having bombed every corner of the Gaza Strip, Israelis are claiming that Hamas is now hiding in Rafah. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.